So we're gonna we're gonna just try something. I'm gonna put up a picture of someone. Okay. Do you know who that is? You probably don't, but that's fine. That proves my point. So then I'm gonna put up pictures of two more people. Now, if you watch football, you definitely know who these people are. It's Shannon Sharp and Steve Largent. Now, I'm not trying to say anything bad about Steve Largent and Shannon Sharp. Okay, they're both fantastic players. Okay. But the first person I showed you was Larry Centers, a fullback for the Arizona Cardinals. And I bet you've never even heard his name, but he has more receptions than both of them. Now, I know. That seems pretty weird. You probably don't believe me. I'll put up the, the actual info grab of receptions of all time. He's in the top 30 in NFL history for catches. And when he retired, he was number 7 at, at receptions. Okay? And I know. You're probably like, how have I not heard of him? Well, first off, he's a fullback, and they never get any love no matter what they do. And secondly, I think just the craziest part of that, the reason he isn't talked about more is, I mean, look at all the fullbacks that are productive in the NFL today, they all are pass catchers primarily because it gives a team versatility. Look at Kyle Juszczyk. I just talked about him in my fullbacks video. And, I mean, his whole job is just to catch passes. And this guy paved the way for him. I mean, he had sick over almost 7,000 receiving yards and over 800 catches. That's ridiculous. And he's a fullback. So just to give a few more examples of players he has more receptions than, I already gave you Steve Largent and Shannon Sharp. And obviously you can discredit those. You can be like, oh, well, you know, Steve Largent was a wide receiver in a different era, and I'll give you that. And then Shannon Sharp, oh, well, he was a tight end before tight ends were primarily pass catchers. He started that whole revolution. And I'll give you that too. But what about Marshall Falk and LaDainian Tomlinson? Those guys are both considered revolutionary pass catchers, but they don't have as many catches as this fullback out of Arizona. So why do we not hear about it? I just think that's ridiculous. He's, like I already said, top 30 receptions all time. He has more receptions than all the players I just named. He was the first back, not just running back, running back or fullback, to have 100 catches in a season in 1995. And he led the Cardinals in receptions for four straight years as a fullback. There are some of the best receivers in NFL history who won't lead a team for four years straight. And he was a fullback doing it. Well, first off, okay, their, their team was, like, never good when he was on it, but it wasn't his fault. They had, like, Jake, Jake Plummer for most of the years, and they, they were just really bad. So a lot of that was just because they had, you know, bad quarterback situation. But that doesn't account for the fact of why he had so many catches. I mean, if you were that reliable as a check down, I mean, if he played with Tom Brady, you would have had a million catches, I think. I mean, when he had those 100 catches, he had only – 119 targets so he was catching 84 percent of his passes which is an insane catch percentage and that doesn't account obviously for swats and bats away so even then you know some of those aren't even really his fault so it's just crazy that he's not heard about but again it's just because he's a fullback three-time pro bowler three-time all pro and a super bowl champ but it just doesn't get factored when you're a fullback which i just think is absolutely crazy and it's criminal i mean it's criminal with what this guy did to not get any recognition not to mention, this is just pretty funny to me. When he retired in 04, his 827 receptions were seventh most of all time. So this guy was in the top 10 catches in NFL history on the brink of the revolution of the passing offense. So he did it before like really anyone else did. And he was a fullback. Yet you've probably never heard his name until now, which just is awful and makes absolutely no sense. Oh, yeah, here's another, you know, we all think about Christian McCaffrey as this awesome, you know, revolutionary catchback. Well, um, he, Christian McCaffrey and Larry Centers are the only two backs in NFL history to have two 90-plus catch seasons. Any running back you can think of in NFL history doesn't have more catches than a fullback who played for Arizona. I just want that to sink in because no one realizes that, and yet we all talk about all of our running backs like they're so good while this guy was doing it years ago and it's also just crazy to me because the reason I, i'm making this video really is this just talk about why i think you know he first off he should be in the hall of fame i mean that's unbelievable to have stats like that and not be in the hall of fame but you just account for his stats and then you also take into consideration that there hasn't been a fullback inducted in the hall of fame since 1987 who was larry sanka 
And I don't see why this guy shouldn't. I think, and he's made the the list for the top 100 for candidates, but he just hasn't gotten in just because he wasn't flashy. Oh, sorry, I was just good at football, but not flashy. That's just so frustrating to me. And that's why, like, I'm not trying to make the argument that fullbacks are, like, the greatest thing ever. I'm just saying they're so much better than everyone gives them credit for, and I just think it's ridiculous how, like, little credit they get for everything they do i mean he's blocking for you know guys to rush for a thousand yards while catching the ball making next to nothing because he's a fullback and not complaining about it i mean he's unbelievable and also just kind of you know it just kind of is a little last thing he has more receiving yards than kellen winslow doug baldwin delaney walker and ted ginn who all had a relatively the same amount of career because he only played 13 years but his first two seasons he basically didn't play so he he only played I think collectively his rookie his first two seasons he only played in 15 games and he only started two of those. So he wasn't really utilized for so he really only played 11, you know, 11 seasons and when you put all those games together and he didn't even really start um he didn't start a full season ever until uh 1996 which was his second pro bowl season. So again, unbelievable numbers. And he, he did get a Super Bowl in the tail end of his career in New England. Um, they used him purely for utility. He didn't really catch any passes. But still, so he's a pro bowler. He's an all-pro, Super Bowl winner. He's top 10, you know, he's top 30 in the world or in the record books. And But you, I guarantee you've never heard his name. And I just think that's absolutely criminal. And um, the hate on fullbacks needs to stop. Because for whatever reason, it's just like they, they aren't even hated anymore. Just no one even knows they exist. It's criminal. Uh, as my hat says, um, make fullbacks great again because, man, they are just so great, but we give them absolutely no credit for all the great stuff that they do, and it's just a shame. So, again, I will say this year, um, along with Peyton Manning, I hope to see <laughs> Larry Centers in there at uh, the Hall of Fame induction. I, I, know, okay, I, know we, I know we aren't going to, but I'm, you know, just – I just want to dream a little bit, you know, and imagine that I'll make it. So, yeah. All right. Well, that was the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and, yeah, consider subscribing or something like that. So I'll see you next time.